Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another part of the Notes application using Firebase. So this is the second part of our Notes application. So in this part, we are going to design our sign up activity and forget password activity. So if you don't watch the previous part, then first I recommend you watch the previous part. So don't further delay. Now let's start the video and see how to do this. And if you don't like the videos, and please like the video and subscribe the channel for latest update and for Android and web development. Now let's start the video. So first of all, open your Android Studio and open your project. You can see our project is Notes App Tutorial. Now, first of all, we need a more activity for sign up and forget password. So first, I will design the activity for our sign up. So click here, then I right click, then click on New, and then you have to simply select Activity and then select Empty Activity. Now you have to simply give the name according to your own choice. So I give here Sign Up, and now you have to simply click on Finish. So it may take some time here to generate a new activity. So activity created successfully. So I first close this and I also close this button design.xml and this is our code. So I simply click on split and here you have to write the code. So it is better to minimize it here. So now, so first simply change the constraint layout to relative layout. So I delete this constraint layout and here I type here relative layout. That's done. Now we have to add a background color so you can use your own background color it is your choice or you can use mine. So mine background color is hashtag F9 F9 F9. You can see it is light white color. So first of all if you remember or not you can check the demo video if you want to see how the sign up activities looks. So it contain a two edit text and a button and a text view which help to take back us to our login screen and also some text like new user want to sign up. So for this it is better to copy the code from here before writing the code new code so first i copy this center line so we are also going to use center line inside our activity sign up xml so i copy this code from activity main and simply paste this code here and it is better to give the different id name it uh, otherwise it conflict so i give the id name here center line 2 so it is you can change it by easily it is your choice now come inside again activity main xml file now we need this text so i simply copy this code from here so simply com completely copy the linear layout so i simply completely copy the linear layout and now open your activity sign up xml and simply paste the code here now you can see now it is fine now it show an error because i changed the id name of center line so simply replace it by center line 2 now you can see it is amazing now what we have to do we have to simply change the text so first of all instead of welcome back i need here new user so i simply type here new user now you can see it is amazing now click on login in to continue now here i have to need type nice to see you here so i simply type here new user nice to see you here and now it's done and you can see it is very easy to design this you, because I already say you, you have to simply understand the concept and if you know the concept then you don't write to code again and again and you can simply copy this code or paste this code again and again. So now what we need, we need to input text or we can say to taking the email and to taking the password. So for this I simply copy this first. So first I copy this for email address so I simply copy this from here. Activity main XML file come inside activity sign up and simply paste this code here. Now we need this above center line 2. So I simply type here change the ID name center line 2. Now it is your choice whether you want to change this email or not because we are not going to use this email inside our Java file so it is not necessary. Now it is better to change this email. So this is not login email this is sign up email. So I simply type here sign up email. Now you can see it is fine. So now after this changing the ID name you also should make sure to change the ID name. Now we need a for edit text for our password so I simply copy this this type of edit text input layout so i copy this control c copy and then control c paste and you can see it is fine now we have to simply change the layout below to center line 2 because i use center line 2 id here reference line and it is better to change the id name of password so in so instead of login password it is better to give the id name of sign up password now one thing i also forget to remove this input type from our main activity so i delete this line from here and also we don't need this line inside our activity main xml file of main activity so also remove this here because we don't need this inside password now what we need we need a button so what is the working of the button to help to assign up the user whether 
click on the sign up button to registering the user so for this we have to take a button so as you already know it is problem in new android studio we can't change the button color so it is better to change you use the relative layout button so let's see so for this i simply again come inside our activity main excel file and i have to simply copy this login button so i simply copy this from here control c and then come inside our activity sign up excel file and simply paste this code here now what we have to make change so instead of id login we need the id sign up so i simply give the id of sign up now simply change the text so instead of login i type here sign up now it is fine now this button is also created successfully and you can see it is very easy and this video is going to very fast and here i give the layout below password and it is fine because i don't change the main id name i change the major id name not minor id name so now after this what we need we need a text view if user by mistake click on the want to sign up and then we also have to give the option to the user go back to login screen if he by mistake click on this button so let's create a text view so for this so it is better without copying simply cop type manually so i simply type here text view then set the layout with match parent and height wrap content set the text alignment center we need simply set the text which you want so i simply type here want to login then a question mark then simply give the margin left 20 dp is fine give the margin right 20 dp is fine now simply give the text color black and also we need this text view below the button so simply pass layout below and id name of sign up relatively out so you can see now it is fine now what we need and now we need, we have to give id to this text view so simply i type here id and what is the working of this text view this text view is going to take the user from sign up activity to login activity so simply type here log go to login because it is always better to give the id name correspond to that working and the working of this text view to take the user back from sign up activity to login activity that's done now we have to give the margin top so you can give any margin top according to your design so 70 dp is fine and now close this and in and in just 5 minutes we completed our sign up activity so you can see it is very amazing now we have to create a forget password activity so let's create it so i expand it here simply click on your packet name then right click then click on new then come in here activity then select empty activity and it is better to give the id name of activity name of correspond to working so this is the activity is going to use for forget password so i simply type here forget password and then simply click on finish now this activity created successfully so i click close the java file and now open my activity forget password and simply first time minimize it from here and now what i have to do simply delete the constraint layout and paste here relative layout now in my forget password i use the white background color but you can change according to your own need now here first uh, as you remember or not we instead of forward inside our forget password activity we have two text view forget password want to recover so for this i have to simply take a two text view so it is better to again copy this text views from here so i simply first copy this linear layout relative layout which is reference line so i simply copy this and simply paste this reference line here and i change the id name to reference line center line 3 because it is your third activity so it is fine now simply copy this text so i copy this linear layout and control c copy and come inside activity forget password and paste this here so now you can see it is fine now simply change the layout above center line 3 and instead of margin bottom of 150 dp it is better to give the margin bottom 120 dp is fine for this activity because this is not a messier activity and it contain only a edit text and a button now here i have to simply type here forget password text so i type here forgot password i set the text size 35 sp is fine and text color is black so i delete this code from here and i type here black so it is looking amazing now now we below this text view it is better to type here don't worry we are here so i type here don't worry here capital w is fine for this so you can type anything it is your choice i it is not depend on me and text size is fine and text style text color is black is fine for this so i type here black so it is also created this activity is created successfully now what we need we need a a button and also a edit text so let's create a edit text so we need a normal edit text so it is better to create by manually so i simply type here edit text set the layout with match parent height wrap content set the margin left 30 dp is fine margin right 30 dp is fine layout above because we need this edit text 
above of the center reference line so layout above center line 3 and also set the hint so i simply type here enter your registered email because we are going to recover the user password using the registered email so i type here registered mail or you can type anything give the margin bottom 10 dp is fine and now close this edit text and you can see it this edit text is created successfully and the hint is not appearing here because maybe on runtime it visible here so don't confuse and don't worry about this hint now one thing i have to give a id to use this inside our java file so i simply i type here id and id name of this forget password so it is better to id give the always give the id name correspond to working so i give the id name forget password now below this edit text we need a button so take an open bracket type here button and give the layout with match parent height of the button 50 dp is fine now sim simply set the text which you want so i simply type here click here to recover now give the id to this button so it is better to give the id name working as i already say every time for so i give the id name password recover button now gi simply give the layout below center line 3 and simply give the margin top 10 dp is fine now give the margin left 30 dp margin right 30 dp and now close this so it is done now you can see it is amazing and it is very easy to create this now we need a text view so why we need a text view let us suppose by mistake user click on forget password button and user come on this activity then if i want to send user back again to login activity then how we can send it so for this we have to simply take a text view normal text view simply take out bracket type text view set the layout with match parent height wrap content simply type here align parent bottom pass true simply give any text which you want so i simply type here go back to login screen then simply have to give any id so i give the id name go go back to login give the margin bottom so 30 db is fine margin bottom simply give any text color which you want so i give the black color set the text alignment center so it is done now close this and also you can give text size so text size 20 sp is fine now it is fine so now our forget password activity and our sign up activity created successfully so in this video i am not going to check because I, if I, I want to check this activities, then I have to add an IDs inside our Java file, then I have to set on click listener. So we will do that work in next part of the activity. So don't worry, the code is very clean and it is very fine code and it is definitely going to work. So we will check our code inside in the next part of the video. Now this is the end of the second part of the notes application. Please like the video and subscribe my channel for latest update and share this video with your friends. So thank you. See you soon in next part of the notes application. So thank you.